Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. So finally, with the release of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 happening in just under a week on March 19th, again according to the Battle Pass, that isn't going to be delayed in any way, shape or form. For those that don't know, the map changes that are occurring in these final days of Chapter 3 Season 1 now are building up, well, an event to take place in a huge cinematic trailer for Chapter 3 Season 2. And let's just say, based off everything that's been happening this season to do with the Imagined Order vs the Seven, as you can also see by the title, we're not only going to be breaking down what this is leading up to and how the trailer's going to look in today's video, but also showing an early teaser of it. And of course, on top of that too, we have a bunch of general information about the brand new season that perhaps you guys don't know about, so with that said, do yourself a favour if you haven't already decided to sit back, relax with your favourite snacks and stick around to watch the full video. And whilst you're doing that, speaking of favours, one you can do for me before the release of Season 2 and the brand new Battle Pass is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. By entering code FM1, you're not only going to be putting a giant smile on my face, but also potentially cheering up my pug Gus after discovering and being kind of sad about the fact he looks like a baby clombo. He also knows that 70% of you watching right now aren't subscribed and speaking of subscribing we're getting incredibly close to 2.4 million subscribers so if everybody hits the big red button right now we'd be there in no time and of course don't forget this benefits you too as i give different subscribers every single day here on this channel which of course in the near future will be tons of the chapter 3 season 2 battle pass but if you want to receive a gift now or in the future make sure you subscribe into the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your epic games id down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps in the very next video you could be gifted in front of hundreds hundreds of thousands of eyes to see. But with that said, now enough messing around, time's ticking away too fast until the release of Chapter 3 Season 2, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't go anywhere. Okay, so to start out with, in terms of how we get to Chapter 3 Season 2, or a cinematic trailer displaying the progression of that, or making sense of the map changes or storyline, firstly you guys need to understand, well, what's been happening this season, of course with the flipping over of the island, revealing the flip side and the location of the Seven's headquarters, this entire time or where they've resided throughout the entire Fortnite story. Storyline. After the end event with the Imagined Order washing up thanks to the events of the oh. Caretaker, well, making everybody seem to go underwater anyways. With updates passing with more of these IO drill sites filling the map or around it anyways to accomplish a certain purpose, which we're going to be going over in just a second. Of course, with them setting up permanent base at Covert Cavern, with not only drills seeming to excavate this area to make it bigger in terms of their headquarters itself, kind of looking like the grotto, but also with one big drill going down into the centre of the island, it's clear the IO's purpose is again to obtain power of the zero point to then overthrow the opposing faction on the island being the seven. More specifically in these final days now you guys will have noticed that the earthquakes are the newest addition of extreme weather conditions despite just the tornadoes and the lightning that we've been seeing occur around the map and the difference between this extreme weather condition of earthquakes and the tornadoes or lightning itself is that yes they're having permanent changes or effect on the map as you can see first this house here on the outskirts of tilted towers and now even a whole seven outpost that's the most recent one anyways out of all the sinkholes and Believe it or not, these sinkholes are going to have a large effect on a huge map change never seen before in the next season. This intel was revealed actually in the 19.10 or 20 update, basically the one that introduced Tilted Towers when this snow melted back the name location revealing it. With this update happening, of course it revealed a new POI on the outskirts of it or just behind it being the Devoured, which is the remains of our initial Polar Peak monster from the first final showdown anyways, as we can tell from, well, a crack in the skull where the head got skewered by the Mecha Team Leader's sword, and despite nothing developing off of this since it got implemented, of course we know the IO is responsible from these drilling sites digging things up, however in the game's coding more specifically what's interesting is the reveal of a Catus cave that I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of. Despite there being a whole underground cave system of the Chapter 3 island anyways that we're going to be able to go under or into this cave system when Chapter 3 Season 2 releases, specifically what's more interesting on this leaked list of information about the Catus cave in itself is well the grunt of another devourer monster living on our Chapter 3 island or under it. I'm not saying we're going to be revealed to this is wildlife next season kind of like we have the Clombos this season underneath in this Catus Cave. But speaking of the Catus Cave or underground cave system itself of the Fortnite Island it's clear that the IO are well trying to create several entry or exit points with these sinkholes being well those itself. And as you guys know the Imagined Order like working in secrecy underground or unnoticed underneath things anyways from Chapter 2 Season 7 where they literally created enough of these Imagined Order bombs anyways to actually blow up the Mothership being bigger 
bigger than the island itself. And with these permanent earthquake changes, despite some of them just occurring in game to shape up like gameplay flow or diversity in terms of that particular game, the permanent ones data miners have been able to find go literally around the outskirts of Tilted Towers, perhaps even implying that this name location is not going to be standing upon the release of next season. But speaking of this drilling process for the caves anyways, as promised I'm going to be showing you guys a tease of a small trailer. We're going to be showing that now made by Sardar Concepts who's linked in the video description down below. So make sure to go and subscribe to him at the end of this video for part 2 when he releases that but let's roll that clip. The most realistic or interesting thing to me anyways about this trailer was the fact that the drills we could see being physically used like animate in game instead of just stood around the map. And the reason for this being interesting is because if you didn't know, Hypex tweeted out a ton of content that's been worked on this season, but most likely considering it's unfinished will be implemented in season 2, and the two vehicles on here, or two type of vehicle things anyways, are not only tanks and potentially vehicle mods with obviously turrets on the back of vehicles we already see in game, meaning well just the normal types of cars lorries or trucks, but perhaps maybe with the scene in the official cinematic the drills actually drove or used as their drilling purpose anyways, who's to say that we can maybe not only drive them, which maybe is unlikely considering that would be overpowered as you can't get shot in them, but at the very least the hatch door being open so we can yeah, go inside and perhaps even loot an IO chest or get some good loot. As you can see again off this leaked list of information there's not only jetpack chests and other things such as a double deagle, kind of like Deadpool held as a mythic boss on the yacht when he was in chapter to season 2, well maybe with the introduction of the drills as vehicles that the IO are setting up more so around the map, which are kind of worrying for the 7 anyways, considering they've literally just destroyed because of the drilling in the earthquakes occurring one of the 7 outposts. Again on this leak list of information that Hypex tweeted out, there is Zeppelins, which supposedly are these blimp looking things according to Egyptian leaker, and as you guys know we've seen blimp like air vehicles anyways in chapter 1 season 9, around the time of well where we got the sky bases also to go up and loot, and as you can see what Egyptian leakers state about about these is it's possibly season 2 leaks at the start of chapter 3 they've been worked on and since they've never been released in season 1 it's possible they'll be added next season maybe the 7 will use them in the war versus the IO considering obviously the IO have all of the drills and seem to be currently superior in this war in terms of their technological developments. Also how this could link to the battle pass our overall theme or integrated kind of collaboration for next season is what he follows up with. They re Zeppelins were used a lot in Attack on Titan since AOT final season is now showing could there be a collab happening next season, maybe as an anime integrated collaboration battle pass skin like we've seen with many other battle pass collaborations such as this season being Spider-Man. And speaking of the forgotten normal Spider-Man skin in the battle pass anyways, despite the fact yes you should get to level 200 right now to unlock this gold star because it looks insane, despite the fact we're also yet to see the leaked Mary Jane skin that's currently encrypted in the files released throughout the item shop before this collaboration does end with the end of season 1. With the end of this Spider-Man collaboration of course that then means the removal of the Daily Bugle, whether the the developments for this are going to be shown in the chapter 3 season 2 cinematic trailer or not. It's safe to say based off the teases, yes, that we're going to be seeing another final showdown event, not only with the Devourer's Bones being here, but the groans of a distant other creature in the files, the Mecha Team Leader arm that was ripped off in the original final showdown being in the outskirt ocean, and with the Seven begging the paradigm to return anyways, who actually manned the Mecha Team Leader in the form of Singularity, another snapshot of her in chapter 1 season 9's original final showdown event again, with this inactive volcano-like look location resembling largely pressure plant where the original robot was made to defeat the polar pink monster, who's to say that this won't happen again with the return of Paradigm and her knowledge on how to create such a giant robot. Some people were even speculating initially considering the Singularity statue at Neo Tilted was a sword pulled out of the ground that the Foundation statue would be the same, but then this glitch happened and we saw yeah, nothing is attached to it underneath or at least hotfix into the game right now. Speaking of the return of Paradigm however, being one of the members of the Seven, four of which we currently 
currently know of, out of the visitor, the scientist, and also the foundation. Considering there's seven members of the seven, hence the name itself, yeah, the seven. And from taking a look at the statues at the sanctuary, seven of which have their own individual symbols on that we can correlate to already existing members that we know of. From taking a look into the game's coding, it not only reveals the names attached to these statues of the members we already know of, but upcoming ones being the origin, and then Sister 1 and Sister 2 being the two sisters that the foundation revealed to us for the first time in the Fortnite universe in the Chapter 2 Season 6 cinematic trailer. And from taking a look at these Fortnite surveys, of which a lot of skins have been pulled into game off of, if we look for any seven looking like characters, as you can see at the bottom right here, we not only have the origin with the visor on and off style, which is very clear, but from us seeing these two female near identical skins or characters together, with us also knowing that this comic book issue is going to be releasing in June, also correlating to one of these members of the seven, potentially being the sisters. Does this confirm now that we know the identity of all members of the seven? And obviously, with one of them being on the front of this comic book, helping Agent John Jones in the Marvel Universe to try and find the elusive Zero Shard, according to the plot of this that Fire Monkey tweeted out, are they going to be a large forefront of the storyline itself, even going into Chapter 3, Season 3? This wouldn't surprise me, considering the comic book issue itself is releasing initially in June, and there's going to be five of these. And of course, this is either going to be around the time of the release of Chapter 3, Season 3, or just after. The only possible things we're going to get revealed to about Chapter 3, Season 2 before it releases anyways is over on Fortnite's official Twitter linked in the video description down below, which I will be retweeting instantly as they release, so make sure to also go and follow me too, as we're running a huge end of season giveaway, giving away three max level 100 battle passes and two battle bundles. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel now with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads on the lead up to season two with all the vital information leaking or pouring out. And slap a like in this video if you enjoyed and want to keep referring back to it. But speaking of other videos, make sure to interact with anything on screen right now. Subscribe to Sidar Concepts for his amazing trailer concepts of what could be upcoming in season two. But most importantly, hopefully I can catch you. Yes, you the individual still watching, I can see you. Hopefully in that very next video I do post on the channel.